What's up, YouTube? It's Tokyo TZ TV, and you see the title. Before we get to it, though, you know, before the Xbox guys, you know, hit the dislike button ferociously. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you uh let me know how your day been, <laughs> you know, shit like that. As you watch the video, make sure you uh let me know how you think about it. But let's get to the video. Now you see the title: Microsoft and Xbox fail once again. Mix a dab, man. Get dab. Now Microsoft, they make a lot of money, a lot. They're swimming in money. And we'll probably, I say they'll probably be, always be swimming in money. Windows, I'm pretty sure every every computer got fucking Windows. I'm pretty sure, I know nobody that uses Linux and shit like that. So they gonna have money for a while. But in this thing called the gaming world, they not swimming in nothing but shh, nothing but shit. Now I was gonna put a little bit more emphasis on it, but they ain't swimming in nothing but shit. You know they bought Skype and it failed like immediately after they start after they bought Skype. I think Skype was going high before they bought it, but you know I don't want to be talking on my ass, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna skip that. So as you guys may have heard, the magnificent website known as Mixer has went under, and many people aren't really surprised by this at all. Really, I don't know many people that's surprised by it or it hit them back or it shocked them that Mixer fell at all. Even after buying Ninja and Stroud, giving them big contracts, who in my opinion are really really good streamers that I've been watching since I was in high school and have been giving nothing but quality content. Like, this is no joke. Ninja and Stroud, I've been doing this for a while. I was watching Ninja when he was playing Halo back in the day on Twitch. Like, that's how I found him. Dude was a beast in that game. And Stroud, he's just a beast in every game. Little Stroud. When a new FPS come out, I go straight to him. And like I said, they've been giving nothing but quality content since I started watching them, which was like eight years ago when I first started watching Twitch. Twitch, Twitch been out for a while, y'all. Even after buying those juggernauts, the website did not grow at all. Wow, YouTube gaming, Twitch, and even Facebook gaming. Facebook, out of all websites, man. Man, fuck Facebook. I hate Facebook. It's a horrible site. Anything I search up on the internet, when I go to my Facebook account, it's automatically on Facebook. Like, if I search up deals for PS5, I scroll down to my Facebook as an ad for deals for PS5, man. Like, they doing some sketchy shit over there. Yeah. Those three streaming services had significant growth. But Mixer, nah, they ha they didn't grow even after buying these two. No growth, no quarterly growth at all. Stagnant. And like I said, those three streaming services, Facebook, Gaming, YouTube, Gaming, and Twitch, ha been having significant growth every quarter. But Mixer has been stuck in the same spot for some time. So everybody pretty much knew Mixer wouldn't last. Compared to those other sites, man, it's, it's just nothing that they can do. Now, even though Mixer didn't see any quarterly growth, I think what really sent Mixer to the grave was a Twitter user and an ex-employee, an ex-Mixer employee, Mike K. Lee, exposing experiences with racism with Mixer, with the Mixer staff, and right now having your brand in the same lane or in the same breath with racism in 2020 is pretty much a death sentence for your brand. So I think that contributed to the close like the closure um, makes it a lot. Like you don't want racism connected to your brand. Even if, even if the because I'm, I like giving people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I just don't like jumping on people just off of accusations like that. So even if the dude is lying, right? I'm not saying he lying at all. Even if he is lying, just having your name in the same breath as racism is bad for your brand. And and no quarterly growth plus racism being incorporated with your brand is is it's bad it's all around bad in 2020 now if you have been following the gaming industry since the release of the ps4 and xbox one microsoft and xbox has been in a been a main pretty much pretty much a main in a failure in the eyes of gamers since 2013 they haven't been able to gain any good dealings around in the eyes of gamers since that time if something is associated with xbox gamers automatically see it, see it as a failure and i don't think it's wrong to assume that when xbox exclusives don't sell as much as switch or ps4 games and the consoles always lose when it comes to sales against the ps4 and even the switch which came out three years after the xbox one and already sold more than the uh, xbox one it's crazy man the xbox brand is just known for failure and me personally i like the xbox one and play the xbox one more than my ps4 but xbox is just a, a l <laughs> like it's just an l in the eyes of gamers the first problem with mixer was not giving playstation gamers the mixer app on ps4 giving them the option to stream and enjoying the already prevalent mixer streamers would have been big for them would have been big i watched 
man twitch on my xbox for years before i start watching it on my uh, desktop having a mix app only on xbox one almost guaranteed that mixer wouldn't grow playstation gamers won't go out their way to watch mixer on other devices man when they can download twitch on a ps4 and enjoy streams that way you know why would they do that why would they go out their way to watch mixer even though it's it's not too much a hassle but why would they go out their way just to watch mixer when they could just you know watch switch on a ps4 why wouldn't they put mixer and this is this is the Microsoft and, and Xbox. Why wouldn't they put Mixer on a PlayStation? Many people might not see this as a big deal, but you will be surprised how many people watch live streams from their console. I pretty much exclusively watched Twitch on my Xbox 360 back in the day. And I'm sure there's people who still do that with their PS4s. They don't got a desktop, they don't got like any iPads or anything like that. So they just watching streams on the PS4. You know, it's just easy. You know, leaving a gaming session and then open up Twitch when it comes to enjoying streams and finding new streamers and old and popular streamers to watch, man. That's it's just easy, man. Mixer missed an opportunity with that. The bad thing about Mixer dying is Twitch can continue to be lazy, cuck made, favoritism lazy monolith and like in the game streaming business. And, and I hate it honestly. I actually wanted Mixer to do well. I think YouTube can switch that at any time though. Really just by giving YouTube 20% more attention and resources, Twitch might actually have a competitor. And I don't think YouTube will ever do that, to be honest. Also, I feel bad for the smaller streamers who found success on Mixer. And now they basically have to start from scratch and undergo the grind once again. I feel bad for them and pray that they're able to bounce back from this and find success on whatever streaming platform they choose to continue their journey on. Now, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Let me know, do you think Microsoft and Xbox are just going to continue failing when it comes to anything related to gaming? And yeah, just like, comment, and subscribe, man. I want to I want to hear you guys' thoughts. Let me know. Give me other topics to talk about, man. I want to do more gaming news or videos, more of these discussion videos. And once I learn how to edit better, I want to do even gaming reviews. So just make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to give me more motivation to keep doing it, man. Thank y'all for watching. It's Tokyo TV, and I'm out. Peace.